How to lay mosaic wall tiles. Difficulty level, one hammer. Yet another way to decorate your house, mosaic wall tiles are sold as sections of small tiles held in a plastic frame or sometimes stuck onto backing paper. Once the tiles are in place, they look like the mosaics of old and it just takes a little bit of time to grout the joints. You will need sections of mosaic wall tiles, battens, masonry nails, tile adhesive, grouting mortar, and spaces. You will need a tape measure, a pencil, a spirit level, a hammer, a trowel, a tray, a notch spatula with 5mm V-shaped teeth, a tileless float, a rubber mallet, mosaic tile nippers, parrot-nosed pliers, an angle grinder with a diamond cutting disc, a cutting blade, a foam back trowel, a sponge, a bucket and some cloths. You should also use rubber gloves when you put up the tiles and protective gloves and safety goggles when you're using the angle grinder to cut. A clean surface. To help the adhesive stick, you need a surface that is level, stable and clean. Scrape off any bumps, then brush the area well or use a vacuum cleaner. On a previously shiny, painted surface, it is best to roughen it by sanding and then wash with a sponge. A professional tip. If your mosaic will be above a worktop, a shower tray or an already tiled surface, and the mosaic will be simply a frieze, start by inserting the spaces. However, looking at an entire wall, the corners may not be perpendicular, nor is the floor always truly horizontal. Note the height of a section of mosaic. Add the thickness of two grouting joints, then draw a line on the wall at that point. Fix a small, perfectly level batten there. Then find the edge where the second mosaic section will start and place a vertical batten there. Place the first tile in the right angle made by the battens. Applying the adhesive. Use ready mixed adhesive with a notch spatula with 5mm V-shaped teeth. Cover an area roughly equivalent to two or three sections of mosaic to begin with. Then score the layer of adhesive to achieve the right thickness. The first section. Place it in the corner of the two wooden battens, pushing it firmly against the edges. Fix the mosaic tile section firmly in place by pressing it with the finishing trowel. The first row. Place the next tiles into position, inserting two spaces in between each. As you put the mosaic tiles in place, tap very gently on the surface using a tileless float and rubber mallet. Carry on in this fashion until you have finished an entire row of mosaic tiles. Cut the last section to fit the remaining space. You can cut the backing of the tiles with a cutting blade. Subsequent rows. Cut a section of tiling in half with the cutting blade. Begin the second row now, starting from the vertical edge with this half section to stagger the tiling sections from one row to the next. Once you have covered the wall, remove the battens and cover the remaining area with mosaics. Straight cuts. Provided you only have to cut off a quantity of whole small mosaic squares, just cut along the backing with a cutting blade. To cut the tile lengthwise, you should cut along the back of the mosaic. Place the section of tiling on an offcut and mark the cutting line. Clamp a piece of wood in place as a guide.
cut following the wooden guide with an angle grinder with a diamond cutting disc. Work slowly, moving backwards and forwards. Awkward areas Where you have water pipes, for example, mark and trace the outline for the cut using a marker pen. Cut the tile backing where the pipe exits. Then snip pieces off the squares to be shaped with mosaic tile nippers for straight edges or parrot nose pliers for curves. Filling the joints. Wait 24 hours after laying the tiles. Prepare enough grouting mortar to cover around 2 square meters of mosaic tile. Apply the grouting mortar all over the surface with the finishing trowel. Spread it over pushing down to force the mortar into the joints with the trowel. Smooth the surface gently at an angle to remove the surplus without damaging the grouting. You can buy jointing mortar in different colors so you can match the color of your mosaics. If the mosaic tiles have to come into contact with water or may be sprayed with water, use a damp proof solution instead of water in your mixture which should strengthen the grouting. Smoothing. Once the grouting starts to harden, rub the surface with a dry cloth using a circular motion. Then, use a damp sponge to make the joints perfectly smooth. Rinse the sponge frequently in a bucket of clean water. Cleaning. Let the adhesive set fully, then clean the surface of the mosaic tiles with a dry cloth. Finally, when the work is finished, Use a damp sponge to clean the whole surface and remove any final traces. Let the grouting joints harden for another 48 hours before using the room.